Hey everybody, and I'm back again to do some more Doctor Who videos. Who would have guessed it? No, but seriously guys, I'm back to give a bit of a different Doctor Who video today. I noticed that in some of my previous videos talking about some of the Ape Doctor adventures and expanded canon seemed to kind of be my niche, you know? I like talking about that stuff. And there's not really an expanded Lore Doctor Who channel that I can find. And do you know what? I might give it a shot. I might do a few videos about bits of expanded universe lore in Doctor Who. If you guys like this video and it receives some good reviews and does well, I will definitely be doing a series of expanded lore. I can't wait. My hope is that you guys can show this video off to your friends and look really cool amongst Doctor Who fan circles, where in reality they're going to tell you to get out more. A little bit of a disclaimer, I haven't read every single Expanded Universe book, I haven't looked at every Big Finish audio and listened to them all. A lot of this stuff will just be me researching and cherry-picking very most interesting parts of the Expanded canon, because there's a lot to get through. Now, I will be looking at most Doctors over the course of these videos, but, but in today's video and in many others I suspect I'll be looking at the 8th Doctor's era. Now, this will be probably the richest in Expanded Universe lore, as obviously this Doctor only got one story on screen and a mini-sode that we got in 2013. But apart from that, all we have to really go off are his comic appearances, his book appearances, and his audio appearances. Now, I could go into a whole video about the comic era, and I might well do that, but today I'm going to be looking at something that was introduced in the 8th Doctor adventure books. Now, a lot of things happened in these books. The Doctor lost his memory, the Doctor regained his memory, he met Susan. But today I'm going to be looking at something that might well have inspired the events of the Time War in the modern series. Today I'm talking about the War in Heaven storyline. Now, whilst this conflict is mainly in the Eighth Doctor adventure books, it also appeared in the audio adventure of the Eleven Day Empire and the comic Political Animals. This war was fought between the Time Lords, but not the Daleks. This was against an enemy called the Enemy. Now that may sound silly, but the reason that they are called the Enemy is because the Time Lords refused to utter the name of the species. Now as you can see here, they look hella creepy. Now, doing a lot of research on this, I have been unable as of yet to properly pin down what the Enemy actually are. It is alluded to in a number of books that they have multiple theories on where they came from and what they are. Ranging from genetically modified Time Lords, they resemble post-human Ashla shock troops, that they are a member of the Vrood species from the Keys of Marinus. Amongst many other theories, it was never completely made clear what these uh, enemies were, or even their species name. It was however confirmed that their home planet was Earth, but they were not confirmed to be humans, nor were they likely to be humans. This ambiguity is part of the intrigue of these creatures, and over the course of many stories, many different aspects and possibilities were presented. A key point of contention through these books is whether or not these beings were even physical, as in some points in some stories it is quoted as the war being a process, and the true battle being over time itself. Gee, it's almost like this should be called the Time War. Now, many other parties became involved in this war, and maybe even most important and recognisable would be the Osirens, who you will know from the Pyramid of Mars story. Other parties that became involved would be Faction Paradox, the Celestis, the Remote, and the Makala. Now, that is a lot of species to be involved in one war. Now that we know who was involved in the war, it might be key to talk about the time frame of the war. So, it supposedly happened within one set amount of time, initially, but then the boundaries of this started seeping and the enemy started attacking pre-war Gallifrey as well, with the war now being referred to as the Future War. During this period, the Doctor was able to find a companion from that era, which is really interesting. Now, of everything I've just told you, this culminated with the Doctor deciding to destroy Gallifrey before the point of any of this happening. Subsequently, the Doctor lost his memories and had to go back to 19th century Earth, where he spent a century recovering. 
Gallifrey still existed after this, as there was a storyline in which nine separate Gallifreys were created. This storyline is explained in the Book of War. I think I should give out a reading list for all the stories in which this storyline appears in. Now buckle up, because there's loads. So, in the novels you have Alien Bodies, Unnatural History, Interface Book 1 and 2, The Blue Angel, Taking Planet 5, The Shadows of Avalon, The Ancestor's Cell, Gallifrey Chronicles, Dead Romance, The Infinity Doctors, Verdigals, The Quantum Archangel, The Book of War, This Town Will Not Let Us Go, Of the City of the Saved, Warlords of Utopia, Warring States, Erasing Sherlock, Newton's Sleep, Against Nature, The Breakspear Voyage, Head of State, Weapons Grade Snake Oil, Spinning Jenny, and The Eyeless. As you can tell, there's a lot of stories there. You'll find a lot to be getting on with if you do wish to pursue this entire arcing storyline. And that's just the full novels. This isn't even to mention the audio adventures that they appear in. The Eleven Day Empire, Sabbath Day, Movers, Coming to Dust, The Ship of a Billion Years, Body Politic, Words of Nine Divinities, Ozymantis, The Judgment of Sutek, and The Adventure of a Diagnose Damsel. I think I've said that right. And I won't even go into the short stories of the comic adaptations that this has appeared in, because it's... there's lots. There's so many. What I like about this concept, even though it's ambiguous as hell, there is an awful lot to learn about it. For instance, we know about the history on Gallifrey 400 years before the war, 100 years before the war, etc. Like this video alone, I haven't been able to speak about everything that happens in this, in this series, you know? But there is an awful lot to talk about, and almost certainly if you pick up pretty much any 8th Doctor Adventures novel, you will find something in reference to the War in Heaven. Now, if this picks up, I will do a part 2 to this, where I chronologically talk about every event in every book that happens in regards to this war. But maybe firstly I should talk about the legacy this has left. Clearly the overarching story of a war between Time Lords and another race stuck with Russell T. Davis, I think. And this is where, though he's never publicly said it, I do believe that this storyline is where he got his inspiration for the Time War from. And if so, I hope that that is the long-lasting legacy of the Eighth Doctor adventure novels. Because honestly, the Time War is my favourite addition to Doctor Who lore that has come from the modern series. And there have been many things I've liked, but I think the Time War is one of the best things to ever happen to the Doctor as a character. And it, if it was inspired by something from the novels, then I'm incredibly happy with that. That's only a personal view, though I can't say that for sure. Now, if you enjoyed this video, hit like, stay subscribed, and soon I will be covering some other things. I have a lot of expanded lore that I wish to talk about, and hopefully you guys are interested. See you in the next video. Bye.